Hi, my name is Austin and this is PPC for Everyone, the channel where we give tutorials on how to set up and optimize your pay-per-click marketing campaigns. And today I'm going to give a demonstration of how to automatically import customers from your Google Ads account into your, or sorry, from your Shopify store into your Google Ads customer match list. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a customer match list is, I'll post that in the notes below, but in short, a customer match list in Google Ads is uh, basically a spreadsheet that you add all your customers to and then you upload that into Google Ads and from there Google Ads matches those people with um, other known audiences and other us users of Gmail and Google services and with that Google can find and um, uh, find other people like your customers or it can allow you to remarket directly to your customers on Google placements like YouTube or the or display placements. Traditionally people will upload a spreadsheet to Google Ads, but that's a manual and tedious process and it's easy to make mistakes. And so using Zapier, by using Zapier 1 you get to eliminate that manual process and 2 you get fresher data. So with Zapier you can have that customer data go from Shopify after the person makes a purchase into Google Ads within, I believe, six to 12 hours. So having fresher data, hypothetically, means you should get better performance out of that audience list. So I'll jump in here to the help article on this. Uh, this is not available to every Google Ads account. You actually have to have spent uh, a lifetime total of $50,000 on the Google Ads account, and you need to meet these other requirements as well. So. If you don't meet those requirements, you'll have to wait until you pass those milestones. And then at that point, you'll be able to use this integration. So let me go over to Google Ads now. Um, under the Audiences, so under Tools and, Set Tools and Settings and then Audience Manager, you'll see uh, your data sources at the bottom. Choice here on the left of that menu. and Typically, you'll start with Google Ads and Google Analytics and then YouTube, and then below you'll see things that you can add. I've added Zapier already to this account because it qualifies to use the connection, so that's been done. And from here, all you have to do is head over to zapier.com to set up the um, uh, connection. So let me move the camera. And this requires also a paid Zapier account. so. If you don't have a paid Zapier account, sign up for that and then get started. Typically when you come to zapier.com you can start with this workflow builder and you'll start by choosing Shopify, new paid order, and then connect to Google Ads and then the uh, add contact to customer list. So I'm already in my paid account on this tab and I've started setting this up to demonstrate. So on once again on Shopify, set up the trigger event which is a new paid order and the reason I'm not using any of these other items like new order or new customer is that I only want to add someone to the customer list if I know that they've paid for the product because if they've paid then I know that they're in my target audience or my target market if they haven't paid they might not be the right person so then I'll choose my account which I've done already and you won't see that here because I've already connected it to Shopify but uh, you'll you'll find a list of your Shopify accounts in here once you connect once you're ready to connect and then last you'll set up the trigger I've set it to payment status paid and then order status and fulfillment status any because again I, I want to be sure that this is someone that's actually paid before they get added to a list All right, and then next I can use this test trigger feature to take a look at what I'm pulling in. You'll, I won't click on this on my account because I don't want to display private data, but you'll see once you click this test trigger dropdown that you can take a look at the actual data that you're able to pull in. So I'll skip that, but you should look at it. So I'm gonna skip down to the second part, which is the action. The action is what we will do after the trigger happens. So once a new paid order comes into Shopify, then Zapier will add a contact to the customer match list in Google Ads. So I've already set this up like above, but I'll just click through the sections so that you know how to set it up yourself as well. 
So I'm going to choose Google Ads as the app. I'm making that. I'm choosing that as the um, event is add contact to customer list. Then I'm going to choose the account. So this is where I've logged into my Google Ads account uh, via Zapier. And from there, once I've done that, I can select my Google Ads account, or the one that I, I should say, I can select the Google Ads account that I want to send the customer to. And from here, I'll find my customer match list. So here's two customer match lists in this Google Ads account. So that is back here. Oh, whoops, not here actually. So that's actually under segments. So if you go to audiences and then segments, here are two customer match lists that I've made. This one already has people in it because I previously uploaded a spreadsheet with data. But if you don't have a match list, make it here by clicking on the blue plus button and then click customer list. And from here, you can fill this out. You can add a sample file or a file with just one person for now. Um, I'm starting this process from having a customer match list already made. So just add one if you don't. All right. So I'm going to come back to Zapier. And here I will, OK, one, select the list. And then two, I'll choose what identifiers I want to import. You can use email or phone number or first name, last name, country, and zip code, or you can use multiple identifiers. But I'm not going to go into this last one because that's an advanced setup. And so I'm just going to use first name, last name, country, and zip. Here you'll see on the next sections, you're just filling out the Zapier fields with the appropriate field from Shopify. If you click into this field, which I won't, you'll see a list of all the data that you could import. I'm not going to click in there because I don't want it to show private customer data on this video, but you can see I filled out first name with customer first name, last name with customer last name, country code with billing address country code, and then zip code with billing address zip code. I'm using billing address because it's more likely that the person who's making the order um, resides at their billing address than at their shipping address. The shipping address could be to, you know, a family member or a friend who they're sending the gift or the product to as a gift. So you can imagine somebody shopping for something around Christmas. They might ship it to someone in a different country or definitely to someone with a different zip code than themselves. But we want the actual customer who's making the purchase. So um, that's what I've got here. All right, so now that I'm done with that, I'll close that. Text test action has already happened for me, so I don't have to wait for this. Typically, you'll have to wait. Um, but I won't because this is done. OK, so now I'm set in here. And the last step is to I need to come back to Google Ads and check on this data to make sure that it's actually uh, coming into Google Ads and getting matched correctly. So. I've already got the screen up here, but come back into Google Ads maybe a week or two later, and then go to the uh, audience section again. So shared library, audience manager, and then within this section, go to segments. Oh, not seg yes, segments. And then find that list that you had connected to here. So this list, and then click into it in Google Ads, and then check the match rate, which is right here. I've got 58% in this account. And what that means is that 58% of the customers that I'm sending from Shopify into the Google customer match list are actually getting matched successfully with, with uh, people, so with someone that has a Gmail account or a known uh, Google account with yeah Gmail or some other YouTube pro or a Google product like YouTube or Gmail, etc. So from here, I can see that this is good. If you have a match rate that's down in the red, you've probably done something wrong in your Zapier setup, and you'll have to go back and check that and fix it. Um, but anything in the middle of yellow and then up into the green is good. So all right, so that's it. That's how to set up your uh, Zapier connection to shoot customer data from Shopify over to your Google Ads customer match list. 
If you have any questions on the finer details of this setup or if you're running into problems, feel free to leave those questions for me in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If you've enjoyed learning from this video and you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and good luck with your Google Ads advertising.